So I'm gonna give you a little hint of where I am. Quick, you can guess. What do you think of these gentlemen way over there? What are they wearing? That is a great question. Where am I? Even better question. Everybody, if you know, you know. If not, you're gonna find out in three seconds. Hey everyone, Joel Lance here. Today we're outside Man vs. Food London. Yes, Man vs. Food London. A very popular and well-known restaurant in the London area, in the boroughs of London. We're in a boroughs of London, uh, which is technically called Owlsworth? Owlsworth? Islay? Islaworth? I, there is definitely a local pronunciation which I'm not encapsulating right now. Nonetheless, guys, we're here to do their big old belly buster challenge. This is a burger challenge which has had thousands. They speculated over five or 10,000 attempts, yes. This challenge is a 40 minute time limit. It is a about eight-ish pound burger, according to the menu, 3.5 kilos. And it costs about $110 American, 80 quid and or 140 Canadian. So it's pretty pricey. It is definitely like a bit of a risk, I guess you could say, but the reward is quite great. So should you complete it and be one of the very few out of the thousands and thousands and thousands, you not only win your money back, but you win an additional 270 quid. On the burger is a giant, giant, giant beef patty. It is a couple inches thick. It is loaded with then cheese, a whole bunch of mayonnaise and salad, so they say, which I believe is lettuce and tomatoes. I'm going to see if maybe I can switch up the mayonnaise. I like ketchup, preferably, or something else instead. But nonetheless, guys, like I said, 40 minutes, a very, very difficult burger challenge, thousands of failures, um, but that's about it. So let's head in, let's have fun, hopefully win some cash, and ultimately, let's go eat. I'm hungry. True story. I had a friend picking me up from the airport and as she was driving into the airport, somebody swung their door open, scraped the whole side of her car, causing some crazy accident, and then tried to blame it on her. Listen, you need legal representation when you are in an accident, when there is an injury, and it's actually way easier than you think to do so. Real quick, like thanks for sponsoring this video being Morgan and Morgan. They are America's biggest injury law firm. You only pay if you win with no upfront costs or sign-up fees, and it's not difficult to submit a claim. You can actually do so in eight clicks or less, and you can like do it directly from your phone even. And that's like signing contracts, submitting medical records, and you can even text the team and your attorney throughout the process. And so contacting a personal injury attorney should seriously be the first step you do. They also have over 100 offices nationwide and over 4,000 support staff and have recovered over $15 billion for clients. So if you've ever been injured in an accident, you can submit a claim at the link on screen and in the description down below, or you can dial pound law, which is pound 529. It's super quick, super easy with nothing to lose and everything again like we said if you're ever in such an unfortunate situation you can get help check out that link on the description and on screen or dial pound 529 everyone so we did get the burgers we actually just weighed them not something we normally do but we did want to weigh it this time it actually is uh, over a pound a full pound and a quarter more so this is supposed to be 3.5 kilos uh, they say it's 3.5 kilos of beef um, so it actually weighed in at just over four kilos I think kilos. and or eight pounds about 12 ounces and that was excluding the plate with the plate it's over 11 pounds so anyway like i said 40 minutes to complete this um that's about it they did allow me to have ketchup on here instead of mayo which is pretty cool and um, scott you ready yeah absolutely so like i said guys the steaks yeah. are high we're looking at 270 quid prize scott ready to rock i am ready to rock Ooh. and roll this is a big one that is a very very large bun uh yeah let's just put that aside Oh, oh okay. so, so when you guys are ready, I'll give you a okay. countdown. Re, yeah, re, she, yeah, she's going to do the countdown. Let's do this. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Okay, so from five, four, three, two, one. Oh, my God. Let us okay. go. Thanks so much. Luck, guys. guys, and the pile of cheese on this. What, what is it, 20 slices of cheese? Around that, yeah. Jeez, look at it. Is, it is a solid brick of yellow and this burger patty. Let's see what it's like.
That's just not bad. Pretty good. Reminds me more of like a, a meatloaf. Hey everyone, welcome to Zulu. Today we are here at the very famous and well-known Man vs. Food restaurant in London, England. So here we are doing one of their many food challenges. That's what they're most known for. They're large, overly big gimmicky items that you can attempt as challenges. And nicely enough, they offer you know a lot of cash prize on them, which is very sweet. I'm going to try to see how much like... Oh man, I literally have a swimming thing of ketchup down below. I'm going to try to like amalgamate this in. <clears throat> I got so much ketchup down here, I literally do not even need it. Like, I can scoop uh, handfuls of ketchup. That's crazy. It's probably a first. Mm -hmm. The one thing I will say is there was so much ketchup on this challenge. Like, literally, there was at least a liter on that bottom bun. It was honestly hard to fathom how much was on it. You'll see it as we get into it. But it is arguably an ungodly amount of ketchup. And that's come from somebody who loves ketchup. Legitimately, if I had to guess, I'd say there is minimum a liter of ketchup on this. Three or four of those. Crazy. Just as much mayo as well. So today we are attempting the burger challenge, which is the not only biggest challenge, ours being almost nine pounds alone, but it also has the biggest cash prize, you know, understandably so. So like we said, 40 minutes to complete this large burger. You can actually get beef or chicken, which is really interesting. So if you do the chicken, you have 10 chicken breasts. I don't know how big they are. Whereas if you do the beef, well, it's supposed to be 3.5 kilograms, which is, you know, let's just say seven and a half pounds or whatever for the sake of it. Well, for sure. I think when I have a ketchup soaked bun, that's your first. Oh, wow. It's kind of a bit of a shell on it. Mm hmm. Does it do it in the oven? See, it's cooked properly right through. When Let's say it cooked enough. That's it, it's pretty good. Um, so definitely, definitely a large challenge. We knew we were going to have to kind of just shut up and eat. Me and Scott wanted to hit it really hard. I'm um, here with my good friend, Mr. Scott. Scott eats a fellow Canadian eater, if you're unfamiliar with him. They say if you want beef, then bring the ruckus. Let me know who sang that down below. I don't think he needs introduction. I'm not familiar with my good friend, Mr. Scott. Scott eats, you know, I keep looking. He has a timer over here. One perk of eating with Scott, he always has a good official timer. So we're just about 5 15 in. And usually a scale as well. True. Having had already attempted a couple of their challenges at this restaurant, let's just say I didn't have the highest hopes or expectations going into this challenge, but I was actually pleasantly surprised as overall the taste was pretty good considering it is an absolutely massive burger. Let's dive in this challenge. I'll let you get to the rest of it. Let's tune on in and see if we can complete this big old thing. Heck of a lot of meat, I can tell you that much. You guys making it look pretty easy. Thank you. <laughs> Got our protein for the week? Mm hmm. Literally. Possible 
get a spoon? Spoon, yeah. Thank you. Um, can I just grab a spoon, please? Just one? I think so. Alright, guys, we are seven and a quarter in. A little well. Joel's killing it. Hard to believe. And if you watch the other challenges, uh, let's just say, remember that they actually do have spoons. Yeah, so remember they do have spoons here, apparently, and then check out the other challenges we did at this restaurant. Can't believe I'm saying this, but I think I found a burger. Which is way too much ketchup. I've never said that before. I go to eat by the handful. I can, I can attest. I've never heard that before. Mm. And, your, from him. and your mail. Well, I don't know if I've ever had a mayo sandwich before, but. To try it? Might as well. Who is it? Bread's nice and soft. Easy to go down. Do this. Is it soft? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Man, that is so much ketchup. Woo! Literally ketchup soaked. Crazy. Ugh. Excuse me. Nice thing about this challenge is it has no french fries. That's strange. Mm -hmm. Sorry guys, I tried to keep it classy, but it's kind of hard with all that mayo on there. As long as you can do. It's messy. Have you ever had a ketchup sandwich? I have now. <laughs> All right. When is this done? Like, is that good or should I have to lick it? You don't have to lick it, but like, your plate just needs to be completely clean. So, like, what you've got there is fine. And that? then just swallow it down and you're done. Like that? Yeah, what's it like? 14 minutes, 15 seconds. About 14, that 15. Wow, incredible. Very delicious. Honestly, I gotta say, I actually enjoyed that. That was, it was, it was tasty. 
Um, you know, there, uh, he, there's. I appreciate it for what it was. It was a very large burger patty cooked in an oven. <clears throat> Excuse me. So for what it was, <clears throat> I enjoyed it. Excuse me. Scott is absolutely crushing it. He's just down to, I'll call it like coleslaw, I guess. Like a mayonnaise, onion, lettuce salad. A very, very well-dressed salad. But yeah, so for that, let's tune on in. I'll try to get the ketchup off my face. But Scott completes this challenge and crushes that record. We're 15 to 10 in. Woo. Holy ketchup, though, is all I can say. I swear to God, guys, I have eaten multiple bottles of ketchup before. There was no way there at least was not. Minimum three, I think four. Like 1.2 liters of ketchup. And you're probably right, that's about 20 large scoops. There you go. Like, and I'm not over exaggerating. She literally affirmed that. Woo! Yeah, not wrong. I feel that sugar. I didn't even have to use this ketchup pile. There's so much. <laughs> Crazy amount. That was, that was good. incredible though, well done. That good? Yeah, well done. Woo! Well done, guys. Woo! Good All right, good job, my friend. <laughs> so, 1544, Scott crushed it, guys. Um, honestly, like I said, I already said what I said about the burger. What do you think, my friend? How was it? Yeah, it was good. The um, burger was well cooked, um, and there was definitely lots of toppings on there so you can't complain that uh, we didn't have anything to wash it down with Oof. no um, no like pfft. no it was, it was swimming swimming in ketchup and right? actually i never say this but the buns were actually my favorite part of the whole challenge they were actually really soft kind of sweet buns and uh they were big so who doesn't like big buns well, hashtag big buns let me know big buns down below or hashtag little buns i will say though i have to agree with you the brioche i really really enjoyed it was sweet um, admittingly, with the bottom layer of ketchup, all I could taste was ketchup, but the top layer I could what? taste, and it was nice and sweet. I did enjoy it. Like, it, it was a good tasting bun. Absolutely. I will definitely give it that. So for that, we each do get 350 quid, a net gain of 270 quid because we did pay the $80 uh, cash for the challenge. And that's why that, and apparently we got new records. I did not know what the record was not go for the record i do know i did know though we were definitely i uh, wanted to give it a fair go when we found it it was you know almost nine pounds we wanted to like ensure we could do it yeah so we hit it pretty good but and that everybody yeah hope you enjoyed today's video huge thanks to staff here they've been very accommodating thank you for joining me mr scott thank you for and having that, guys me. of course till next time say happy on the hungry happy eating and with that have all of that Oh, by the way, they have this in a chicken version. Maybe we'll be back soon. Let's give it a shot. <laughs>
And here they are, officially changing. And there are seas and seas of people to see this. It's actually pretty impressive. And then you have this great big monument, which is absolutely stunning and beautiful, I will add. But yeah, definitely no shortage of people around to watch this changing of the guards. It's crazy to think. And then we have guards coming from this direction also. So I guess there is multiple arrangements coming in. Similarly, with music and a band. Funny, the crowd cleared out a little bit for this. I don't know if people thought it was over or what, but here we have the full marching band, everybody. Quite unique. There we go, that's probably the best view we're gonna get of the Royal Guards, at least from this angle in regards to the changing. Although, like I said, they got the groups there, we got a band, I'm sure something's gonna happen now. Another view of two gentlemen walking with flags. I do question their visibility with those uh, hats though, I will say. And still about 20 minutes later, we still got some marching and some music playing and all that good stuff going on. Oh, music's getting a little more upbeat. Still just standing over here though. And now they are leaving. So the band is leaving. And the guard behind him. The guy's struggling to keep up. And I imagine they're gonna walk right back up the road where they came from. That's pretty cool. All right, everybody, so after we saw the change of the guards, we went into the Buckingham Palace. Now, you're not really allowed photography in there or videography. That being said, not that I did. So I'll show you a little bit about what we saw. It was really, really cool.
We then have some giant, giant, giant parliament or government building right here. We're literally just up the road from the palace. Um, there is also a uh, big park over here, which is uh, very equivocal or very reminding of Central Park in uh, New York. But yeah, huge, 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 like marble, I guess marble or concrete, whatever it is, buildings here. Looks awesome though. Again, the architecture just looks ultra, you know, English. Kind of that vibe that you see in all sorts of movies and all of the above. Here we go. This is the Institution of Civil Engineers, this one here. And uh, I mean, obviously these buildings are very well known, very old, but pretty cool. And we're heading towards Big Ben. All right, here we have the Supreme Court, which is crazy. Just the detail and all the artistry and the fixtures on it. Then over here, which is crazy, you guys, look at this. Look at the size of this cathedral. Absolutely insane. And the architecture. Then over here we have the parliament buildings. And this is Big Ben behind the big tree. So let's go have a closer look at this cathedral. This is phenomenal. All right, guys, and here it is. I think it's the uh, Windsor Cathedral. Look at this. Is it Windsor or Westminster? Westminster, Westminster guys. There we go, where the coronation takes place. Appreciate it, guys. Wow, just absolutely insane. The artistry on this, like just the work that went into it, the complexity of that glass. Holy crap. I gotta say, the cathedrals and everything over here are just unbelievable, and it's so big. Wow, just again, crazy. Crazy. This outbuilding is actually called the Westminster Abbey, but nonetheless, crazy church. Huge, huge, and just again, the architecture, I can't believe it. It's, it's just stunning, and like you can just see through the windows you can see the fixations of the little colored glass pieces that is i think the london eye or whatever like the ferris wheel if i'm not mistaken and then like you said guys here we got big ben the famous tower we'll have to get a picture of that here real quick and then the parliament buildings just look at these parliament buildings too like it is just the architecture is just so estranged to what we have in North America. It is so unique, so cool. And here's Big Ben from the other side, guys. What a huge clock. Like that clock face is enormous. They just redid it so it's in really good condition. And we're continuing to head towards the Eye, Tower Bridge, and all this stuff. but. Man, this is uh, cool buildings. I mean, really, it's just like, just like out of a movie. Awesome. And everybody, we made it down by the Thames River. There we go, the famous Thames River. A lot of people do uh, boat tours down the river. We may do that as well. Um, actually, potentially, partly use it to, part of our travels, get over to our Tower Bridge. This is the Isle of London. Basically, it is a great big Ferris wheel. Uh, they do have little pods in which it's a little bit more than a traditional Ferris wheel in the sense you can kind of like stand up, sit down, etc. They have one just like it in uh, like Niagara Falls called the Sky Wheel and a few other places, one in Las Vegas, etc. But they are pretty cool things to do. Apparently in that little area there's some other things to do. We're going to try to check that out later. On the meantime, checking out this river on a pleasant afternoon. And yeah, it's, uh, it's nice, you know. It is cool there's lots of different boat cruises and tours and i have no complaints some trees it's a very pleasant day so i will definitely take that and along the river we stopped into whitehall gardens guys we have some really nice statues hard to see with the sun i'll try to block my head got some nice statues beautiful flower gardens great greenery very well groomed and manicured we have this great big building here as well i have no clue what it is i imagine another well, imagine it's Whitehall. <laughs> Maybe a parliament building, I don't know what it is. But it is stunning. Gorgeous, guys. Like, And in the sun right now, 
It is just so pleasant. What a beautiful day here. It, it really is a pleasant day. Walk around in London. We really couldn't ask for much better. Um, it is warm. Apparently this is quite warm for them. Uh, more warmer than usual. And it is not rainy or dreary, which is a very pleasant gift. And yeah, like you said, guys, just loads and loads of gardens and flowers and very, like I said, incredibly well manicured, well kept. And there's like these walking bridges, which we're on, which is pretty cool. Walking across, got some music playing as well. Beautiful here. That building there, that's a walkie talk building. There's walkie talk. which I don't know what they are. Cool. And there's a wedge shape. And the, sh and the shard. And all this cool stuff, guys. London Eye again, that's Scott. And this really cool pedestrian bridge. I actually really like that they have these. I mean, I guess obviously you have to cross the Thames River somehow, but this is cool. I mean. The Thames or Thames? Thames. Thames? Thames. Thames? Thames. <laughs> River Thames. Thames? Thames. Thames. No, not Tim. Tem? Thames. Thames. Is that right? It's spelled T H A M E S. Yes. The River Thames. That's River Thames. Thames. Okay. Thames. <laughs> there you go. Thames or Thames? Not Thames. 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 Ta Thames. Thames with an M instead of an N. Yeah. Thames. Yes. There you go. That's Thames. Perfect. I keep saying Thames or whatever. Thames. River Thames, guys. That's there you go. It. You got we got right. the pronunciation. <laughs> and we're heading to the train station. Look at this, guys. Pretty cool bridge. Very royal blue. And uh, just more of kind of London, little tunnels. Kind of reminds me of like, you know, this could remind you like New York, but still it has its own kind of features and accents. And there's the Waterloo Station, train station. That's where we're headed. Pretty cool.